Hey guys, PsychicHD here again with another video, and today the iOS 8.1 jailbreak was released for Mac. Uh, now this is compatible with all the latest devices, the iPhone 5, 5C, 5S, uh, and more importantly the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus as well, running between uh, iOS versions 8.0 to 8.1.x, which means for the remainder of the 8.1 point updates, it's going to work. Now as you guys can see here, this is my iPhone 6, I just searched for Cydia to show you the that I don't actually have it on my device, that was just a Wikipedia result. Uh, now I'm gonna open up settings, come over here to general, and um, use reachability to go to about. And here you guys can see I am on version, or iOS version 8.1, the 12B411 build. Uh, now this is basically just the latest version of iOS available for the iPhone 6 at the moment. I think it's just a different build number for the iPhone uh, 6 Plus, but regardless, this is going to work on both devices, so let's actually get straight on into it. Now this is actually uh, using a application or a piece of software called Pangu, the link to which is in the description below. So first thing you should do of course is plug your device into your computer using the included lightning cable which came in the box with your iPhone. Uh, now I don't really think using a third party cable actually does uh, make any sort of a difference but I just prefer to use this just in case. Now after you've plugged it in, one of the more important things to do would probably be to back up your device using iTunes, it's what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, now the Pangu jailbreak should not remove any of the data on your device as it did not for me, but it's always a good thing uh, to keep your device backed up. Now once iTunes is finished backing it up, what you can do is download the Pangu application, it's about 40 megabytes. Uh, again the link to which is in the description below, you can download it from the pangu.io page. And it's going to open up like this inside of a uh, finder window, all you have to do is is double click on the application to open it so I'm just gonna bring it over here into one of my other desktop windows uh, open it up and as you guys can see uh, it's just launching here in my dock uh, if you get a message like this all you have to do is hit the open button uh, and it's all good it's gonna work out and then here is the application now as you can see it's recognized my iPhone there it doesn't say it's it's jailbroken because if it did there would be a little red uh, jailbreak after that so all you have to do is hit the the start jailbreak button but a good thing to do before you do that is to unlock your device uh, just in case so after you've done all of that just make sure to put your device into airplane mode and then hit start now this is actually a very very quick process it actually takes only a minute or so to actually jailbreak your device it it says it's injecting something uh, which is it really just has two stages and the second stage is cleaning up the device as you guys can see here I haven't sped up any of this all of this is in real time um, it actually works very very quickly and I think this is probably one of the best jailbreaks that has been out in a really long time I think besides for the spirit jailbreak which I remember back in the day would actually jailbreak straight on your device um, but regardless that was really easy this is also pretty easy except for the fact that it requires you to be on a computer so I'm just gonna wait up and let this process because again I do want to show it to you guys in real time and I'll get back to you as soon as this part of the video is complete Alright guys, so as you can see over here it says jailbreak complete, so it's actually rebooting my device at the moment. Again, it was only a couple seconds, uh, I didn't really end up having to wait too long um, on mute here, just so I could show you guys. Now this is the part I'm going to speed up just a little bit because I don't want to show you guys my password. Uh, so it takes a little while to boot up the device, again no cuts, I'm just speeding it up. Now when the device turns on, of course you will recognize that or your computer is going to open up iTunes. You have to put in your password because Touch ID is not going to work the first time. And you guys will see two new applications on your device, the City application as well as the Pangu application. So the first thing I'm going to do is lower the brightness here so you guys can see a little bit better and then open up the Pangu application to show you guys uh, what it is. It's a very simple application, just really just tells you the status of the Pangu jailbreak and what it's been doing and what the updates have been uh, all about. It also gives you some basic uh, system functions such as being able to respring and reboot your device straight from there as well as tells you a little bit more about the developers. Now what I'm going to do here is open up Cydia and you guys will have to do this the first time you open it up. Now my device was syncing in the background but regardless it's just going to prepare the file system. Now this takes about 10 minutes so again I've decided to speed up this part of the video simply because it makes it a little bit easier for me to make this video a little shorter and easier for you guys to, to have to sit through and not have to see the entire process or not have to wait through the entire process but regardless it's going to prepare your file system and as soon as it's done it's going to reboot your device. Cydia is going to exit out. Um, 
or rather it's going to respring your device. Now it's going to take a couple seconds, and again now we're back into real time, it's not speeding it up anymore, and here you go. Now it says you can slide to unlock, uh, of course I'm going to use Touch ID since it is working, and here we go. And Now the next part is all you have to do is open up Cydia and you're basically good to go. As you guys can see here, Cydia works perfectly on the iPhone 6. I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit and show you guys that my device is perfectly recognized as an iPhone 6, running iOS 8.1, uh, and functioning, and Cydia is functioning on it perfectly. Now really guys, that does about do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, it would be really great if you guys could leave this video a like rating. Uh, and of course over here I'm just refreshing my Cydia sources, and this is something that I would recommend that you guys do after you jailbreak, just to see if there's any important updates that Cydia has available. Um, again, that basically does about do it. Again, uh, as I was saying, if you guys like this video, please do remember to leave it a like rating, share it with your friends if you think that this could help them, uh, and for more videos like these, as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials, and a lot of Cydia tweak jailbreak videos that I should probably have coming out very soon, uh, please do remember to subscribe. Uh, it will keep you up to date with all of my latest HD content. So again, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.